What's up, y'all? Kosi, what's good? What's good? Just have me a little protein. Mm. A little protein, a little spinach, put some greens in there. Ah, so good. All right, y'all, check it out. So, today's Sunday, and I've had plenty of time to recover. Today it was a great day. Started out my day with a hike. Shout out to everybody who went on the hike today. We had Flavio, we had Adriana, we had the kids, we had uh, uh, Coach Cortez, we had Lupe, we had Mary, we had Joe. Uh, you know, shout out to everybody that just came out, man. It was a great time. Um, and, you know, we went up to Point Sal. We, we went all the way. We went about like, like three quarters of the way. We didn't go all the way down to the beach, but it was a freaking amazing, amazing, amazing view. Beautiful. It was first time up there. My first time up there, man. It was awesome. I, I really enjoyed it. So, shout out to everybody who did that. Started the day off on the right page, man. And for those of you who didn't come, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anyways, so I'm not going to get on you for that. I want to talk to you today real quick about a paradigm. Paradigm shifts. Since today's Sunday, I'm going to get a little biblical on you. Not too much, but I'm going to get a little biblical on you. See, back in the day, back, back, back in the day, they had something called a Passover. And this Passover was a celebration of basically when Moses, you heard the story of Moses bringing the people out of Egypt, let my people go, the whole story. You've heard that story, right? And... They used to celebrate the Passover. They used to celebrate how Moses brought them out, how God delivered them from Pharaoh. And when Jesus Christ came along, they were celebrating. And they were in the room. They were in the upper room. And this is where the famous lines of, this is my body, breaking the bread. This is my blood, drink the blood. That was the first time in history that that ever happened. With somebody saying, I'm the son of God. This is my body. This is my blood. Drink this. And now... Disciples probably thinking, oh my God, who are we following here, man? This dude got to be crazy talking about, this is my body. This is my blood. How would you feel if Coach C came in there and I was like, listen, y'all, we're going to have some post-workout blood. This is my post-workout blood. <laughs> probably be looking at me like I'm crazy. Probably just be some, 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 some beet juice or something. <laughs> my point is, is that Jesus was willing he was willing to say things that were outside of the box. Be a game changer. Because what he did that day, and now when you go into a church, you go into a church and they putting in the bread, and they drinking on the sipping on the stuff. That's the same tradition that he started on the day of the Passover. He started, it was a brand new thing. It was something that was a game changer. It was a paradigm shift that changed history. Why am I talking about this? Because when you start to live and breathe this health and nutrition and working out stuff, people will look at you like you crazy. People will look at you like you a fool. People will look at you like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Why is this something that you want to tell me about? Look at my kids coming over there. What are you guys doing over there, man? All right. So, game changer. Paradigm shifts. Paradigm shifts. So when you do this whole health and nutrition thing, you start to try to get your guns, try to get them boom, boom, trying to get, the, trying to get that body all nice, trying to eat the good foods, trying to do the good things. Understand that sometimes people are going to look at you like you crazy because all of a sudden you're going against what you were taught, you're going against and how you were raised. Your family was not raised this way. We were talking about it today on the hike. We were saying that in a certain in a certain demographic of people, they feel like you're supposed to live a certain way. And if you step out of that box and if you think a little differently, then you're not really that type of person. You're not really, really that race. You're not really that you're not really that that type of people. And you acting like somebody else, and you acting like some other sort of people. When you have this paradigm shift, when you can say, I'm going to be different, I'm going to take my life into my own hands, I'm going to take it and I'm going to change. People have problem with changes. People always have and historically have always had problem with changes. People don't like change. But I would invite you, I would invite you right now to be willing to look like a fool. Be willing to look like a fool. Be willing to go against the grain. 
be willing to make that paradigm shift and to have something click up here that will shift your life into a whole nother direction and get you to places you never thought imaginable. Listen, y'all. I know I look stupid when I make some of these videos. I know I look stupid when I go ah! and doing all this crazy woo, all this stuff. But I'm not afraid to look like a fool, man. Because halfway, I am a fool. <laughs> and that's okay. Some of, the, some of the time I feel like acting like a fool. Some of the times I feel like doing those things. Because it's my inner child coming out of me. And I love to be that person I want to be, not what everybody else wants me to be. When you have a paradigm shift and you know what you want and you know that everybody's going to tease you or they're going to they're going to they're going to give you some 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 slack over it, man. They're going to they're going to like, "Man, what are you doing?" That's when you know you're headed in the right direction. When you know it's something good for yourself. When you know it's something good like health, nutrition. And you know it's what, what most people know is supposed to be good. But most people are not doing it for some reason. And you want to go after it? Go get it. Stop thinking small. Go get it. If there is one thing that I can tell everybody is stop thinking small. Get on that big boy level, man. Get on that big girl. Put your big girl pants on. Put your big boy pants on. Get your grown folk on. You grown folk enough to do some of the stuff that grown folks do, right? Oh, but can you handle your responsibilities after that stuff is done? That's a whole nother subject. Baby daddies, baby mamas. Be willing to look like a fool. Go against the grain. Go get it. Go make it happen. Please do me a favor and make it happen. If Jesus Christ was willing to look like a fool... Saying, this is my body. This is my blood. Take it. Eat it. Drink it. Create a whole new tradition in history. What kind of history will you make today? What kind of stuff will you do today? What kind of things will you say today that will take your life in a whole different direction that you never thought possible? This is Coach C. Live your dreams. Live with passion, live with purpose. Know what it is. Have a good night, y'all. Now get to bed. Camera's not off yet. I'm trying to press the camera off. See you later.